This video demo shows how Visual Cut can generate and refresh data in Excel dashboards. There are three pivot charts here, coordinated with some slicers, so a click on Janet Lever link, for example, filters the data shown in all three displays to just that employee. A control click to add Michael Suyama, and we now see data for both employees. Similarly, I can filter to show data just for bicycles. Synchronizing these filtering actions is afforded by this slicer option of report connections. You can see that all three displays are controlled by this slicer. The data comes from this tab. To demonstrate the process in Visual Cut, I'll open this report, refresh the data, and go to the export email tab. The process will export the data to ctemp data.xlsx and the command line argument is xls range insert file. It takes a template 3.xlsx as the template file that has some sample data in the design of the dashboard, saves it to a new file called ctemp sales dashboard.xlsx, and it replaces the data in the template by using the file that we're exporting, data.xlsx. It takes the data from that file and replaces the data found in the data1 tab in the template file, starting with cell A2. If I go into the temp folder, I can see that I already have the template3.xlsx file. And going back to Visual Cut, let's start the process. At this point, it just generates the data that xlsx file, converting it from xls to xlsx. It inserted the content into the template, saved it to the sales dashboard, and finished. So if I click close and go back to that temp folder, I can see here is the raw data that got exported. Let's open this up and look at it. So nothing exciting here, it's just a data dump from the report. And here's the sales dashboard. And that's what we started the video demo with. So the key difference between the template and the final product is that the Data1 tab now has more employees, more records, and Visual Cut took care of synchronizing all the slicer and pivot table connections to the raw data so that it fits and works with the newly named file called sales dashboard.xlsx. In Visual Cut, you can email the dashboard, you can SFTP upload it to a website so that your users can gain access to it. To review, we start with a template document that contains some sample data and a design for a dashboard. We export data from a crystal report into a new Excel workbook we use that data to populate and replace the sample data in the template and generate the sales dashboard as a final product. Let's open the template document and see how it's designed. The layout and everything in that file are exactly the same as the final product, the sales dashboard. The data simply contains less records. In our case, I can see that there's only three employees in the sample data. And we just need to have enough data to populate and create effects such as top 10 choices and some slicer content. And you can see that there's only three sales reps here, and that's reflecting the data here. Here's Anne, here is Robert King, and here's the Michael Suyama, and here's the end of the data. If you send me an email, I'll send you the template document so you can see how it was designed. But I want to point out two interesting items here. Because I'm using synchronized slicers to maintain that synchronization when the workbook gets saved to a newly named file. So instead of template three, it becomes sales dashboard.xlsx. I'm using a power pivot approach to maintain that synchronization. Now, what is a power pivot? It's a free addition to Excel. All the latest versions of Excel have it built in. And it allows me to take the data in this tab and place it into what is in effect a, an internal database. So if I go to Power Pivot and manage the data model, you can see that the data from that tab 
becomes a table inside the data model. So this internal database can actually join multiple tables and do extra things such as creating some calculations. In my case, I created calculations for year, month, and quarter to support the overtime revenue chart for each sales rep in the dashboard. But you can do more advanced things like key performance indicators and more advanced calculations. Worth your time to visit YouTube and see more information and demonstrations about how to take advantage of Power Pivots. However, to create simple Excel pivot tables and pivot charts with these types of filters and so on, you do not need to learn and use Power Pivot. But if I had to guess, in half an hour, you can learn how to do Power Pivots and take advantage also of more advanced slicer functionality.